Are you looking for a good shoulder workout that you can do at home with just a set of dumbbells? Well, today, that's what we're gonna do. Hi, I'm Top of the Gomez, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to help all you busy ladies out there juggling jobs, careers, and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm gonna give you exercise tips, tricks, routines, and even product reviews to help make exercise a part of your life. So let's get into it. We are going to do a shoulder workout today requiring just dumbbells, all right? So it's going to be three sets. We're gonna work our front deltoids and our rear. So the idea is, and a little bit of our rhomboids, so the idea is to build up and round out the front of our shoulders while strengthening the back so that we stop the hunch, pulling our rhomboids up and back. There are a ton of different shoulder exercises that you can pick from. So the ones that I picked today um, help me be able to go through them properly without showing you bad form or without hurting my shoulder. Sadly, about two and a half months ago, I fell down about five stairs because I'm clumsy and I braced my arm against the wall. So right now I'm pinching something right in my joint. Not sure exactly what it is, but so I had to pick shoulder exercises that work my front and rear and really benefit it, but don't cause that, that pinching that I got going on. I don't think it's an impingement. I just think that I maybe inflamed something when I fell. So I'm just giving it time to rest while working other parts of my shoulders. All right, so how we're gonna go through this workout today is it's three sets. We are going to go through each set one time together. So I'm trying to make these videos quick and fast so you can get the workout in and you can choose if you wanna rewatch it and do the workout with me or just take notes and then do it all on your own, all right? So three, um, three sets with a bunch of different exercises in them. I will explain to you how to do them properly and then you can choose what you do with it. So let's get to it. Okay, set number one, we're gonna start off on an incline. So if you do not have a bench that in can incline or decline, you can use your stability ball for this. You do not have to be at an incline. If you have, um, don't have any of those things, you can definitely do this same exercise on the floor. So IYTs, literally, we are going to be lifting our arms out into an I position, a Y position, and a T position. Just like thinking about YMCA. Spelling letters with our arms, all right? So let's get to it. IYT five times through. And let me move up. Me and my short little self on this bench. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right. And I'm going to be again. I, Y, T. Really squeeze. Focus on those rear, rear delts as you do this exercise. And that's three times through. Four, and I can feel the burn starting. And that was five times, okay? Put those weights down. Okay, exercise number two for set number one is gonna be shoulder presses. Go ahead and grab your heavier weights for this exercise. We're gonna do about 10 reps, all right? So we're gonna lift these weights up and we're gonna start at 90 degrees. As you can see, my arms are parallel to the ground and they're 90 degrees out. We're gonna press it up and you're gonna touch the dumbbells at the top. I know you can't see it in the video here, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna to touch them at the top and bring them back down to 90, nice and controlled, all right? Let's go for 10, one, Two, keep your back nice and straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, and 10. Very good. 
All right, exercise number three in set one is going to be an upright row. So grab your heavier dumbbells again, and we're gonna glide the dumbbells up our body, leading with our elbows, and then bring it back down. Keeping your chest up, don't use those traps. Chest up, shoulders rolled back, and we're gonna go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There you go. All right, go ahead and repeat those three exercises, the IYTs, the shoulder press, and the upright rows three times through, and then we'll move to set number two. Okay, set number two. We are going to do side raises and front raises. You choose the dumbbell weight that works best for you. You shouldn't be struggling to lift a couple reps. You wanna get a few in, all right? So when we lift to the side, we're gonna lift kind of sideways, but a little bit more forward than our body with a slight bend in our elbow. And when we lift forward, we're gonna lift forward straight up and bring it parallel to the ground, all right? So side, parallel to the ground, slight bend in the elbow, and forward. Let's start with side raises. We're gonna go for about 10. If you have lighter weights, then you can definitely go for more reps. Nine, 10, Woo, 10 pounds there. All right, and for the front raises, we're gonna just lift straight forward. Two, three, four, five. Just turning so you guys can see. Seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. One more thing that I didn't mention when we do those exercises, you wanna make sure to keep that chest up, those shoulders rolled back, so that when you're lifting, you're lifting while being nice and tall versus rolling here and lifting. Right, that makes a big difference if you're here, that's not proper alignment. So we wanna be nice and tall, shoulders rolled back when we lift. All right. Okay, welcome to the floor. You can grab a stability ball, a bench if you have one, a chair if you don't have a bench or a ball. And we are going to do um, a wide row focusing on our rhomboids. So our rhomboids is that muscle that kind of connects our shoulder blades to our spine. Now we want to strengthen that. And here's an exercise that will strengthen it. My bench is not as high from the ground as I would like. However, the exercise will still work. So we wanna focus, when we do these rows, we really wanna focus on pinching those shoulder blades together as if you're pinching a pencil right between them. So on your spine, pinch, pinch a pencil between those shoulder blades. We're gonna go about 10, and they're not gonna be quick reps. We're gonna go nice and slow, holding that pinch and then releasing, all right? So let's go up, pinch, and release. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, One more, and 10, good. You should have really felt that on your rhomboids. If not, pinch harder, or maybe get some heavier weights. All right, so that was set number two. Go ahead and repeat those three exercises two more times. You wanna do this set three times through, side raises, front raises, and rows, all right? 
And we're gonna move on to set number three. Hello, welcome to set number three. All right, for set number three, we're gonna stay entirely on this mat. We're gonna work our shoulder rotation and we're gonna do more of our rear delt. So if you have two sets of dumbbells, a heavier and a lighter one, we're going to use both in this set. So for the shoulder rotations, go ahead and grab your heavier dumbbell, all right? You're gonna to want to bend your body here like I am, resting on your hip, yourself some nice support, supporting the rest of your body on your elbow, again, keeping your elbow right under the shoulder so that you get maximal support. You're going to place your arm nice and flat against that hip, and we're gonna rotate down and all the way up, okay, with our dumbbell. We're gonna go 10 on each side. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Go ahead, flip on over. Okay, same thing, same posture. Grab onto that dumbbell and we'll go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. So a last torturous one here is going to be swimmers. Okay, we're gonna get down on our mat. We're gonna do swimmers just with our upper body, okay? So we're gonna reach our arms out and we're going to act as if we are swimming. And it's gonna suck, all right? So arms straight out. Ah, that was 20. All right, and back to shoulder rotations. So go ahead and do shoulder rotations, swimmers, all the way through three times. And that, my friends, is three sets of all shoulder exercises. You can easily add those exercises onto any cardio day or any other type of workout. If you were doing chest, um, biceps, triceps for that day, you can easily add an additional shoulder workout if you would like, or like I said, cardio, go for a run, and then do some shoulders, all right? So I hope you guys like that. If you guys like this format where I explain the workouts to you and I give you a workout, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, or let me know if you prefer me to work out with you as if you're going to a workout class. But otherwise, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me, and aloha.